Good morning. In today's lesson, we are going to talk about volume. On your screen, you can see different sizes of cubes. I have this smaller cube. I have a different size of cube that's bigger than the previous one. And I have this bigger cube. And I have this other cube. And I have all these different cubes. The reason behind that is because we are going to use this in order to develop our conceptual understanding of what a volume is. So let's begin with the definition of volume. Volume is the amount of three-dimensional space an object occupies. So let's say I have this box. And I would like to find what is the volume of this box. In order to find the volume of this box, we need to quantify the amount of three-dimensional space inside this box. But how are we going to do that? The answer is we are going to count the number of cubic units this object occupies. And that brings us now to the concept of cubic units. What is a cubic unit? You can think of cubic unit as a cube like this. If the dimension is one centimeter by one centimeter, then we call this cube as cubic centimeter. Or we can have a cubic unit like this. If the dimension here is one inch by another inch, then we now say that this is a cubic inch. Or let's say we have this other cube. Let's say the length of this is one meter by one meter by one meter. Then we now say this is cubic meter. So the choice of cubic units is very, very important when you compute for the volume of a solid object. So if the object is very small, then you might use cubic centimeters. If the object is like this, you might use this. So let's find now what is the volume of this box based on the definition given. It's the number of cubic units an object occupies. So let's put these cubic units inside. You have one, two, three, four in the first layer, five, six, seven, eight in the second layer. So we therefore say, assuming that all the spaces are occupied, we now say that the volume of this box is eight cubic units. Let's write it down. So the volume of the box is eight cubic units. Since the dimension of this cube is one inch by one inch by one inch, we therefore say that the volume of that particular box is eight cubic inches or eight inches cube. It is very important that you identify the unit because you interpret this part as the number of these smaller cubes. And there are eight of those smaller cubes, there are eight like that, that can occupy this box. But it's not practical that whenever you have problem on volume, you bring along these cubes. So we are going to look for the pattern. The box that we were talking about, as I mentioned, uh, two units here, it's two units here, two units here, and two units there. So the length, the width, and the height are all two inches. And we call that also as the side length. To be able to get these eight cubic units, what you're going to do is just multiply all those side lengths. So you have the side multiplied by the side multiplied by the side. And so this is equal to 2 times 2 times 2, and you have 8 inch cube. Another way of writing this side times side times side is s to the third power, or s cubed. This is now the formula for finding the volume of a cube. And I would like to emphasize the interpretation that whenever you compute for the volume, the unit is very important because you in interpret that as the number of these smaller cubes that can fit inside the object. Now, suppose we have these other cubes. Let's say we have a 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube. 
what is the volume of this? So you just identify what is the side length. So the volume of this 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube would be the side length of 3 units. And let's assume that this is centimeter. So the side length is 3 centimeters raised to the third power. So we get 3 to the third and centimeter to the third. 3 to the third is 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27 and centimeters cube. So you think now of the centimeter cube as this smaller cube. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 at the first layer, another 9 at the second layer, and another 9 at the last layer. Together, you have 27 of these smaller cubes. And all those 27 smaller cubes occupy the space inside the bigger cube, the 3 by 3 cube. What if we have this 5 by 5 Rubik's Cube? What is the volume of this? So again, you think of the volume as the number of these smaller cubes that can fit into the 5x5 five five cube. And to find the volume, it's easy to compute. You just have to multiply the side times the side times the side. So V equals 5. Now let's assume again that the, the unit here is centimeter, so 5 centimeters. So 5 centimeters cube. And so we have a volume of 5 times 5, 25, times 5 is 125 cubic centimeters. So the computational part is easy. It's the concept that I would like to emphasize here because unless you understand the meaning of these units, you would tend to forget that unit. You would just write 27 or 125. Also, unless you can visualize in your head what's the meaning of volume, in the future application of volume, let's say in calculus, in your other subjects, you will not be able to picture th that in your mind unless you really understand what's the concept of volume. And the concept is very easy. The concept of volume is just the number of square units that can occupy a space. And all those formula that you encounter about the volume of solids are intended to count the number of cubic units inside that solid. So at this point, I would like you to pause for a moment and get your journals. Number one, what did I learn today? Number two, what is cubic unit? And why is it very important to understand cubic unit. And number three, and number three, explain how do we arrive at the formula volume equals side to the third power. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.